Mount Rushmore. The Mount Rushmore National Memorial is a national memorial centered on a colossal sculpture carved into the granite face of Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills, South Dakota, United States. The sculptor Gaston Brooklyn designed the sculpture called Shrine of Democracy and oversaw the project's execution from 1927 to 1941 with the help of his son, Lincoln Borglem. The sculpture features the 18 meters head of four United States presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Mount Rushmore attracts more than 2 million visitors annually. The four presidents were chosen to represent the nation's birth, growth, development, and preservation. The memorial park covers 1,278 acres and the mountain's elevation is 1,745 meters above sea level. The sculptor chose Mount Rushmore in part because it faces southeast for maximum sun exposure. The carving was the idea of Dean Robinson, a historian for the state of South Dakota. Robinson originally wanted the sculpture to feature American West heroes. Borgham believed that the sculpture should have broader appeal and choose the four presidents. Peter Norbeck, U.S. Senator from South Dakota, sponsored the project and secured federal funding. Construction began in 1927 and the president's faces were completed between 1934 and 1939. After Gaston Borglem died in 1941, his son Lincoln took over as leader of the construction project. Each president was originally to be depicted from head to waist. But lack of funding forced construction to end in 1941. The sculpture at Mount Rushmore is built on land that was illegally taken from the Sioux Nation in the 1870s. The Sioux continued to demand return of the land and in 1980, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled the United States versus Sioux Nation of Indians that the Black Hills were stolen and awarded $102 million in compensation. The Sioux have refused the money and demanded return of the land. This conflict continues, leading some critics of the monument to refer to it as a shrine of hypocrisy. Mount Rushmore and the surrounding Black Hills are considered secret by Plains Indians, such as Arefo, Cheyenne, and Lakota Sioux, who used the area for centuries as a place to pray and gather food, building materials, and medicine. The Lakota called the mountain six grandfathers, symbolizing ancestral deities personified as a six directions north, south, east, west, sky, and earth. Six grandfathers was a significant part of the spiritual journey taken in the early 1870s by Lakota leader. By the 1920s, South Dakota had become a U.S. state and was a popular destination for road trippers visiting the Black Hills National Forest, Wind Cave National Park, and Needless Highway. In 1923, the Secretary of U.S. Dakota State Historical Society, Dean Robinson, who would come to be known as the father of Mount Rushmore, learned about the shrine to the Confederacy. The project to carve the likenesses of Confederate generals into the side of Stone Mountain, Georgia, that have been underway since 1915. Seeking to boost tourism to South Dakota, Robinson began prompting the idea of a similar monument in the Black Hills, representing not only the wild grandeur of its local geography, but also the triumph of Western civilization over the geography through its anthropomorphic representation. Robinson wrote to Goodson Borglem, the sculptor of Shrine to the Confederacy, asking him to travel to the Black Hills region to determine whether the carving could be accomplished. Borglem's original plan was to make the carvings in 150 meter high granite pillars known as needles. However, the eroded needles were too thin to support sculpting. In 1925, Brooklyn summited Black Elk Peak while scouting alternative locations. He chose Mount Rushmore, a grander location, because it faced southeast and enjoyed maximum exposure to the sun. Brooklyn rejected Robinson's original plan of depicting characters from the Old West and instead decided to depict four American presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, 
and Theodore Roosevelt. The four presidential faces were said to be carved into the granite with the intention of symbolizing an accomplishment born, planned, and curated in the minds and by the hands of Americans for Americans. The Lakota and other local indigenous communities objected to the overall plan as constituting the secretion of their secret lands and sometimes violent anti indigenous policies of the four presidents defected. For the Lakota and other tribes, the monument came to epitomize the last of the secret lands and the injustices they have suffered under the U.S. government. Senator Norbeck and Congressman William Williamson of South Dakota introduced bills in early 1925 for permission to use federal land, which passed easily. Carving started in 1927 and ended in 1941 with no fatalities. Between 1927 and 1941, Gadsden, Brooklyn, and 400 workers sculpted the kilometer carving of United States presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln to represent the first 150 years of American history. These presidents were selected by Brooklyn because of their role in preserving the republic and expanding its territory. The carving of Mount Rushmore involved the use of dynamite, followed by the process of honeycombing. The chief carver of the mountain was Luigi del Bianco a stonemason who immigrated to the United States from Italy and was chosen to work on this project because of his understanding of sculptural language and ability to imbue emotion in the carved portraits. In 1933, the National Park Service took Mount Rushmore under its jurisdiction. By July 4, 1934, Washington's face had been completed and was dedicated. The face of Thomas Jefferson was dedicated in 1936 and Abraham Lincoln's on September 17, 1937. In 1939, the face of Theodore Roosevelt was dedicated. Brooklyn died in 1941. His son Lincoln Brooklyn continued the project. It was planned that the figures would be carved from head to waist, but insufficient funding forced the carving to end. In total, the entire project cost $990,000. Borgram originally envisioned a grand hall of records where Americans' greatest historical documents and artifacts could be protected. He managed to start the project, but cut only 21 meters into the rock before work stopped in 1929. To focus on the faces, in 1998, a repository was constructed inside the mouth of the cave housing 16 enamel panels with biographical and historical information about Mount Rushmore, as well as texts of documents Brooklyn wanted to preserve there. The repository consists of thick wood box inside of a titanium vault placed in the ground with a granite capstone. In 1966, Mount Rushmore was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Tourism is South Dakota's second largest industry, and Mount Rushmore is the state's top tourist attraction. The popularity of the location, as with many other national monuments, derives from its immediate recognizability. There are no substitutes for iconic resources, such as the Statue of Liberty, the Lincoln Memorial, or Mount Rushmore. These locations are one of a kind places. However, Mount Rushmore also provides access to surrounding environment and wilderness, which distinguishes it from the typical proximity of national monuments of the urban centers, like Washington, D.C. and New York City. Many thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and like and share this video.